When talking about filtration fraction, we need to focus on the part of the kidney involved in filtration, and that's the glomerulus. Filtration fraction is defined as the percentage of filtrate formed in the Bowman space relative to the renal plasma flow. In other words, the filtration fraction equals the glomerular filtration rate in milliliters per minute, or GFR, divided by the renal plasma flow in milliliters per minute, or RPF, multiplied by 100. So what's the average filtration fraction? Well, GFR and renal plasma flow average 120 and 600 milliliters per minute, respectively. These values give us a filtration fraction of 0.2 or 20% when multiplied by 100. The filtration fraction is not typically used in clinical settings, at least not routinely. However, it is useful to help us better understand the relationship between glomerular filtration rate and renal plasma flow. Let's use this graph to explain. On the x-axis, we have the renal plasma flow in milliliters per minute, and on the y-axis, we have glomerular filtration rate, or GFR, also in milliliters per minute. The red line represents the relationship between glomerular filtration rate and renal plasma flow, and it shows that glomerular filtration rate increases as renal plasma flow increases. However, this relationship is not linear. For example, when renal plasma flow is between 0 and 300 milliliters per minute, GFR increases from 0 to 90 milliliters per minute. However, if we double the renal plasma flow from 300 to 600 milliliters per minute, GFR increases from 90 to 125 milliliters per minute. Over this range in renal plasma flow, the rate of increase in GFR is reduced by two-thirds compared to the previous change in renal plasma flow. Finally, if we increase renal plasma flow from 600 to 900 milliliters per minute, we see an even smaller increase in GFR from 125 to 140 milliliters per minute. Over this range in renal plasma flow, the rate of increase in GFR is reduced by half compared to the previous change in renal plasma flow. This nonlinear relationship between GFR and renal plasma flow has a nonlinear effect on filtration fraction. For example, the green line represents the relationship between filtration fraction and renal plasma flow, and it shows that filtration fraction decreases as renal plasma flow increases. Also, at very low renal plasma flow, the filtration fraction plateaus at about 40%. This occurs because as renal plasma flow decreases, the filterable substances in the glomerular capillaries have more time to be filtered, which explains the increase in filtration fraction even though GFR decreases. This is particularly important when considering what happens to filtration fraction with changes in afferent and efferent arterial resistance. Increases in resistance lead to decreased renal plasma flow and GFR. From our graph and the equation, we know that the filtration fraction will increase under these conditions. Granted, increases in efferent arterial resistance will increase the filtration fraction more than increases in afferent arterial resistance. The mechanisms responsible for these differences are explained in greater detail in our series on the glomerular filtration rate.